Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yeah, humidifiers is running uh, fires. I have uh, two now. This is one in my uh, Orchid uh, room. So the other one is uh, obviously in the greenhouse. But before we uh, going to uh, talk about that one, I just wanted to say welcome at these, uh, this next episode of Blooms and Buds and such, which is basically an update on uh, what's going on with my orchids. Uh, in the greenhouse and also in my orchid room. So yeah, the weather is quite nice these days. Well, actually we had two cold days with snow and frost, but before that we have quite a lot of sun and also uh, today. So um, that's why I have the humidifier running again because with the sunlight and the heat it gets very dry. And so I need to uh, do something about it, of course, but still it's uh, very sunny outside. And even though the temperatures are outside, they're not that warm, it will heat up quite uh, quickly here, the room. But uh, so it's uh, in here, in the orchid room, always nice. It's now, let me check, uh, 20 degrees. Let me zoom in a little bit. And 58% humidity. So I like to have it up to uh, 60, 65. But uh, with the sun, and this uh, one, yeah, it's trying her best, but... Uh, <laughs> It's uh, very hard to compete with. But anyhow, so that's the first update. Um, the next is, well, obviously, I shown these guys in my uh, in last uh, video, my blooming update, but it's uh, starting to be uh, a Miltoniopsis uh, uh, season here. So I have uh, spikes, blooms, the first blooms are open. And even on my recovery, uh, uh, Miltoniopsis, I have spikes. This one has a beautiful spike with three buds on. This one had two. One did decide to, ble to uh, bless, but uh, that's okay. We still have one bud, so two spikes here. And I just noticed that in here, in this, uh, yeah, around here, this area is uh, also a spike forming. This was one day one plant, but I did need to split them up. Uh, I think I did a repotting video on them, so I will uh, link it if I have it. And let me check. Then this one, I saw this spike. And I knew, because I checked it earlier this week, that we have another one coming here. But I did discover one here as well today. <laughs> so at least three spikes. And probably we will have more. This is one of the newest one. Uh, also, I did a video on this uh, Miltoniopsis, transferring it into self-watering. So our, if you are interested, I will uh, link the video. And uh, this white one is there in as well. And this one is already blooming. And I did know that I did discuss the blooms, the size back then, that they were very, very small. But you can see that when your Miltoniopsis start to get healthy, most of the times the blooms get bigger as well. So that's beautiful. This is a beautiful spike and the other uh, are okay, but only have one bloom. And these blooms are still a bit smaller than these guys. But this is a very healthy uh, spike. So it's uh, going the right way. And we have even more spikes here on this one. And this one is opening up. So yeah, we have a spike here. And I see I think that these two new growths will make spikes as well pretty soon as these guys. But yeah, like I said, it's the season and it's beautiful because I, I really love them. So that's, uh, that's very nice. So that's the first update. And uh, you probably know it already, but Miltoniopsis are really my most favorite orchids. So um, I'm very happy. <laughs> and I, didn't, I couldn't grow them for quite some years. And I'm sorry for this uh, strange <laughs> um, few, but I tried to close the door. But anyhow, so I um, I now finally, this is my second year that I'm uh, yeah, successful with them. So finally found a way to grow them very well. And then my vanilla or orchid, I didn't do much updates on this one. Uh, you probably didn't even know I had one, or you maybe saw, saw it in the background. But this one didn't do much for at least six months, because the uh, growing tip was eaten by uh, Ace, Ace, Aesop's, uh, yes. So it was growing from this tip and then it died off, because the aphids uh, were eating it uh, 
all up and then I saw them but a bit too late so they had done their damage and finally like I said after six months we have a new growing point luckily not down that far uh, the stem because if we would have something here it needed to grow all up again and normally if they start to grow and they can grow fairly quickly but this is nice it's just just a little bit and then it will uh, be at the roof and I try to get it over here and then probably try to get it grow uh, towards the back and maybe zigzagging around maybe even go it all the way there I, I'm just I don't know it, I will see how it responds and which way it uh, will grow and uh, naturally I need to shut down my ventilators like I said it's uh, as you can probably see it in the background it's uh, very bright and my vendor do love it and luckily it's their watering day so they have a beautiful sun a beautiful feed around them so I really can uh, feed themselves again and I really see uh, changes they really like it they get I don't know if you can see it but the happy sap is coming back so that's probably uh, a good sign so uh, over here yes this is the first time ever I have uh, three uh, encyclias and I finally have one as you can see spiking so this will be probably the first no it's not the first time spiking for this plant but not I didn't get it with a spike but you can see probably there a smaller spike as well so we will have four on this uh, encyclia tempen, tempenis, tempenis var alba yeah you can read the tag probably <laughs> So uh, yeah, that's the first rebloom on an encyclia from me. So that's very nice and it's an alba form and I like uh, yellow and white and a bit of green. So let's, uh, let's see, I'm lo really looking forward to, uh, to this one. And as, of course, as soon as bloom, uh, it starts to bloom, I will uh, show it on, the, on my uh, channel, of course. That Tolumnia is still working on a spike. It takes uh, quite some time for Tolumnias to develop the spikes, but that's okay. We have time luckily i have way more orchids so i don't have to focus on this too much but otherwise it will feel uh, even longer i think and um, my tolumnias i will do a separate video on them they do are doing okay but i did give them a little bit too much light as you probably can see they start to uh, get quite purple and as this one is just basically still establishing in my care so i need to uh, slow it down a bit but this one is the first rebloom for me ever so and that one had quite some roots in the pot obviously that one is doing better and this one wasn't good to start with but it's still here but uh, yeah like i said i will do a separate uh, video on them um and what i also have is maybe i did uh, talk about it a little bit i'm sorry battery died in between so i had to uh, grab a new one but i'm starting to uh, grow especially the warmer growing uh, warmer weather liking at uh, warm temperatures i'm sorry <laughs> uh, liking orchids uh, into these uh, baskets and i use them for self-watering as still of course but uh, they have now more way more air around their roots as well and um, i don't think i can take it out very well they are lit no i'm not um, maybe i can take this one out yeah, this one is a little bit easier to take out, but this one has is just repotted. This is my uh, second Francis Fox, and I didn't have the time to do a video on it, but I uh, I will show her, of course, on occasion. But you can see this is the idea. These net pots, you probably know them from the garden center, and with a wick, as you can see. And I will have, once it's established, of course, I will have a uh, reservoir. And this one will not touch the water, only through, whoops, there we are, only through that wick. So when temperatures did, do get colder in winter here, um, I don't have, with these guys, uh, roots in the water. Unla uh, unless they really chose to uh, grow uh, through the holes and grow roots in it, well, that's fine. But... Um, so I hope it will uh, stay a little bit warm inside the pot. Not all of them did uh, uh, had trouble with winter, but a few of them. So I always try to improve 
and I thought, well, maybe I need some uh, net potting because the air is always a little bit warmer than the weather. That was my thinking. Plus, cattleyas, of course, and, and a lot of orchids do like, all, uh, of course, the air around the roots. So I thought that's a nice combination. And so far, I really see uh, good results, as you can see on this one. It's beautiful uh, rooting in. So that's something uh, I will discuss more on my channel as well, how these do. But it's just a little update so you know what I'm working on. And I really like the look of them. So, uh, yeah, and this is uh, one of my Ivanagaras from Miracle Orchids. And you can see this one is really working on the new root system. Old roots still okay, nothing wrong with them. But uh, this one seems to like the uh, net basket setup as well. And the other one, I had two of these Ivanagaras from her, is. Not showing as much root growth, but it's still okay. But it needs just a little bit more time, I think. And my uh, golden elf is just uh, finished blooming, so probably it will uh, start growing new uh, growth soon. And then I will put it uh, up in a. Uh, oh, I already see a new growth. Don't know if you can see it. I try to zoom in. It's a lot of green there, but that greeny point. Yeah, I think you can see it now. That's a new growth. It's, and I did watch her this afternoon, whoops, but I didn't see it. And now it just gets, gets my eye. So if that is big enough and it starts to make use, I will uh, put it in a basket as well, because I really think they like it. And my, especially the younger orchids do die, uh, yeah, have trouble with the water, with a bit colder water more, I think, the seedlings. So I will uh, put those in these baskets, like these guys over here as well. But as you can see, they are really responding nicely to it so far. So still very humid, very wet, because it's still self-watering, but also a lot of air. I think that could be a very nice combination. Who knows, who knows. So let's go over here. We have some updates here. I need to uh, turn this... Uh, off as well. I don't know how much you can hear it. I apologize, but it's very warm in here. Uh, let me see my uh, Lindley eye. I just discovered this spike it, uh, a, uh, because it was a little bit hiding underneath that leaf, but it has, a, it has a spike, so that's beautiful. It's the first one. I don't have this plong that long, but uh, I don't see, don't see more, so it could Normally, in a better condition, probably it would have a few more um, spikes, but let me check. No, I don't see more, but who knows? But so far, it's fairly new to my uh, care and it does well in self watering so far. So, uh, that's something I'm really happy about. I can take it out of the pot so you can see the roots. So, yeah, I had no idea if this one would take. Uh, go to the new uh, setup, self-watering, but so far it's uh, doing well, the Lindley eye. And then next to it we have the Harveyanum. Where is the tag? Uh, Dendrobium Harveyanum. And this one is coming back as well. And as you can see, we have a beautiful spike over here. That's number three. And number four is hiding here. So the other two spikes we are already uh, done blooming, but for this season it will uh, make uh, four spikes. So that's beautiful. And before it's, yeah, I think it did take over two years to uh, rebloom again. So and then it had only one spike. So so, yeah, I think it's doing better. And these leaves are looking greener. We have some black points on them, but these new ones. I hope you can see it looking better so hopefully it will do better and i think because i barely had any roots on it and now it's uh, having a root system again so it's probably can uh, take up better the feet so i think that's uh, better then here also in dendrobium dendrobium parasii where here it is it was a freebie and this one is budding and this is a very young plant, so it's also the first time for this plant to uh, bloom. And 
same story. I just put it up in cell watering and it was like, well, we see what, what happens. But it's uh, started a new growth, so I thought, well, it will not bloom. But then uh, it did start making buds. And around the same day that I discovered the buds, I saw a video from uh, Jossie, Plants and Other Things, and his is also uh, budding up. So, uh, yeah, beautiful. Really looking forward to that. And while we edit in this corner, I had a repotting session uh, with my uh, conifer plants. And it were two plants, and now I have, as you can see, quite some more. So I did have all these little young plants, and I did pot them out, but most of them separately. I have these two very tiny. I didn't have any pots anymore, so I did pot them up. And as I did the same with these two tiny ones. But, um, yeah, beautiful. And I had a lot of uh, flies on these, uh, especially on these, these hairy ones, these guys. Let me zoom in, maybe you can see the black dots on, on there. Yeah, I think you can see it. Quite a lot of them. So I thought, well, I'm going to split them up. And they really do, are doing their job. So uh, that's beautiful. And I'm having these in these trays, so I have to water them. Uh, I think every three days, something like that. But so far, they are really doing well. Some in some clay pots, just to uh, see how they would respond. But it stays uh, very moist, so and I don't feed them only uh, RO water. And they respond to it very well. So that's, uh, that's very nice, of course. I have more of these guys. I have a few here. These, only the little one here is also a uh, repotting of one of those plants we just saw. But the other ones, as you can see, are still in their original pots. Those are new uh, plants in my care. And this one is fairly new as well. But this one over here, I just, I already had for a few years. And you can see these canes are starting to go very, very big. I think it's loving that, uh, that corner there. And I have one here. I don't know the names, not anymore, but this one is... Starting a bloom again. You can see an old bloom and a new bloom. I will try to film this. It's such a strange bloom on these guys. And, well, two more, then we're done. <laughs> For those who don't like not these plants, but I really like them. This is also a new one. It's a Septunus, Neptunus, Neptunus, I think. Something like that. And here is one in the behind the family abscesses. And I put it here and just, it just took off this one because I saw a video, a few video on, uh, on these guys just to get an indication of what kind of care they need. And somebody was, t uh, was basically telling that you need to, they need a light, but they need sort of to search for the light. So I thought, well, I put them, uh, yeah, basically under and against and in between the ventilator. So it really needs to search for the light. So, uh, yeah, so far it uh, does uh, very well, I think. And we have a keiki hanging here <laughs> of this beautiful, very large mother plant, Dendrobium. But anyhow, I do get a little bit distracted because I wanted to show you another thing. I just need to show it. It's so beautiful. I never saw... Did you see me? Yes. Hello. <laughs> I never saw um, this one. Um, it's so, so huge. I hope... You can see it. Let me put my hand next to it, but this one is just crazy. Look, it's the same size of, size of my hand. And the ones in the back, these are the more regular ones. And I know these a little bit in the distance, but uh, these are crazy, crazy big. Beautiful, from Ikea. So, but uh, yeah, I just needed to have it. It's just pink, and I like pink, but it's not very spectacular, but the bloom sizes are beautiful. And something is, oh, it has a branch here. Just notice the branch. This is a fairly new spike that opened up. That one was from this season, so it's fairly new as well. But it's decided to uh, make a branch from that one. So we do get more of these gigantic blooms. <laughs> and this spike, it did, uh, grew fairly quickly, a secondary spike. So, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's very nice. I really like my... Uh, my fails. So far, my noblies are still blooming, but if the first signs of uh, going over are uh, there as well. 
So that's uh, so far over here, I think. Yes, about the updates. Let's go back. Uh, here you can see my new vlogger. I believe this is almost the same one as Roger has, and he ha he names his um, Hurricane Hector. <laughs> so, um, but I don't have a name for mine. But this one is uh, working uh, very well. I just shut it down because otherwise I, it's very hard to film. But it's uh, it refills itself through that uh, little hose there. So I don't have to do anything. I just uh, put in the uh, percentage that I like. Uh, of the uh, humidity in here in the air and then it will uh, this uh, device will respond to that and will give a sign of if it needs to blow some uh, moisture in the air or not so that's very uh, very helpful the only thing is when it's sunny as today very very sunny even this one can just not take it it's uh, nobody can win from the sun <laughs> So you can have so much devices, but it's it, it's just too warm, too hot, too quickly. And so I need to do something about it. And I, I hope probably this week I have already the shading netting uh, inside. It's, that's the first time for me, but I really have to do something about it. Because otherwise I will have some troubles. I do not have burned yet, but uh, it's very close. I think the Talamnias did have uh, a bulb above them and also the sun and just show the the purple tinges on them so that's a really a sign that it's uh, it's too much so we will put up some shading netting oh, like i said hopefully this week because we had a willow tree here that, that did give uh, quite some shade even when it wasn't uh, uh heading uh, heading his leaves on it still did get uh, quite some shade but yeah in the last storm it decided to uh flap over <laughs> so yeah we had to uh, remove it and now it's just an open hole so there in the garden where the sun is it's full hitting full uh, my greenhouse because this is south southwest so i basically have all day sun on my greenhouse and yes that gets incredibly warm even uh, this time of the year it's just in the morning it's yeah, the sun is basically there and then it starts heating up quite quickly. So I, I can manage, but I really, really have to do something about it very quickly. So, um, yeah, I have some new dendrobiums here um, that we uh, did see in my unboxing for uh, Acarnas. But um, I have them uh, repotted already and I'm just waiting for new signs. But this one is doing fairly well. It's really growing as a... Um, very quickly these two are doing well as well but just going a little bit slower but so it doesn't take maybe one or two weeks and then i will have them in these hanging baskets i will give them their own reservoir and then i think i'm going to place them over here next to my big very very big dendrobium there i probably will move those files there and hang those dendrobiums there or maybe there yeah come to think of it that probably in that corner because it's a little bit darker there and i was told that these dendrobiums do not need too much light so maybe that corner is a little bit better well we shall see but as you can see even those files there are those leaves are starting uh, to color a bit orange and that probably is because of the sun i'm not completely sure but i think they get a little bit too much light I'm not sure because yeah the new leaves aren't as orange so i'm not sure but i don't know why exactly those two have that problem and the rest is okay because if we go a little bit further down you can see this has quite purple leaves but it isn't uh, getting yellow so maybe it's a uh, little too much light but anyhow we uh, will work with it. There's always something to do here. <laughs> and if you have a greenhouse or uh, you have quite some orchids, maybe an orchid room, you probably know what I'm talking about. There's always something, but always, uh, it feels like there's, there's always all, uh, as well a surprise, like a spike or a beautiful new growth that you didn't see already, etc. So this is for, is, uh, words are a little bit hard today, <laughs> I apologize, this is it for, uh, for today. Um, 
As usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I just want to say thank you for watching, and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.